the Tampa Bay area offers so many must-see attractions, which makes it hard to know which ones are the best ones for you to visit. Which is why I came up with this list of the top 10 must-see attractions in the Tampa Bay area. And this helpful Tampa Bay top 10 starts off with number 10, the Florida Botanical Gardens featuring a 4.7 out of 5 rating on Google. Located minutes away from the downtowns of Tampa and St. Petersburg, the Florida Botanical Gardens offers 100 acres of lush and diverse natural habitats. If you are looking for a must-visit Tampa Bay attraction that will not hurt your bank account, then you will love how much the gardens charges for admission because it's going to cost you nothing to visit this amazing place. Plus, you also get to walk around freely with your dog. And there are plenty of other great things to see and do here for kids and people of all ages. Trust me when I say this, everyone in your party will love their experience here. TPR tip. Be prepared to take a lot of photos and selfies when you visit. Because there are so many great photo ops that you're going to find here at the garden. Number 9. The Historic Ybor City Embrace history as you walk up and down the streets of one of the most fun areas of Tampa. From the bars and the craft breweries to the restaurants, a trip to Tampa is not complete without exploring some rich Tampa history that you're going to find at Ybor City. Chickens, chickens, and chickens everywhere. You will notice that the chickens are allowed to roam freely throughout Ybor City, adding to the charm of this very special place. TPR tip. The best way to get to and from Ybor City and to take in all the sights and sounds is riding the free Teco Line streetcar. When you are visiting the Tampa Bay area, you are located within the 30 minute drive of Florida's beautiful Gulf Coast. So I cannot recommend enough exploring all the attractions that are located near or on the water. And one of my family and I's favorites has to be number eight, Dolphin Quest, featuring a 4.9 out of five rating on Google. Now talk about a great way to get out on the water and take in the beautiful views of the Gulf Coast all while you get to look for dolphins. This 90 minute excursion is so wonderful and full of fun for the whole entire family. TPR tip, if you're able to, I highly recommend checking out their sunset dolphin tour. The views of the sunset alone are worth it, but just try to book in advance because the tours do book up fast. Number seven, the Tampa Riverwalk. You can scroll up and down the Tampa Riverwalk and get a real feel of this great city and the charm that it offers. You will find some delicious restaurants that are located on or near the Riverwalk and some must-see attractions. The best part about the Riverwalk is that it's free to walk around and explore and offer some great photo ops. TPR tip. If you have kids, they're also going to love the Riverwalk because they're going to find the awesome playground that I highly recommend checking out. Coming in at number 6 with a 4.7 rating on Google is the St. Pete Pier. You will encounter 26 acres of water sports, parks, restaurants, outdoor concerts, and of course, amazing views of the Tampa Bay area from the St. Pete Pier. Now the great thing is, this pier is not your typical pier. That is because it offers so much more than just that. I recommend come hungry and thirsty because you will be in for a real treat with all the tasty restaurants and bars that you're going to find on the pier. Now just like most piers, the St. Pete Pier offers fishing and is a great opportunity for some family or group photos. TPR tip, if you have kids who love playgrounds, and let's be honest, which kid doesn't, then you have to take them here to experience the Glazer Family Playground that is located right in the middle of the pier. Now before I get back to the list, if you enjoy videos like this, then you'll want to check out these other ones that I created just like it for other areas that I recommend visiting. Number 5, the Hillsborough River State Park, featuring a 4.6 rating out of 5 on Google. This state park is open 365 days a year and is home to 7 miles of nature trails. When you visit this must-visit state park, you're in for an adventure that'll make you feel like you're not even in the busy Tampa area. You will also have a great chance of seeing some Florida wildlife while you're exploring this place. 
TPR tip. I highly recommend a kayak or canoe rental. Not only is this a great way to get some exercise, but you'll be amazed at the pure beauty of this park from the water. Number four, the Florida Aquarium featuring a 4.5 rating. This is one of the largest aquariums you're going to find here in America, and it's also one of the best. And in 2025, the Florida Aquarium will be even better after the $40 million expansion is complete. One of my favorite attractions has to be the wetlands of Florida. Here in this exhibit, you're going to encounter alligators, otters, birds, and even a python snake. Seriously, you will love this exhibit. I also recommend the Journey to Madagascar because this exhibit is also great. TPR tip. This is the best rainy day activity in the Tampa Bay area. However, that also means it's the busiest one when the weather isn't great. So I recommend arriving right at opening for the best possible experience. If you're finding this video to be helpful in any way, then I really hope that you consider giving it a like. That is by far the best way that you can help support theme park recommendations and I really do appreciate each like. Coming in at number three is Zoo Tampa with a 4.6 rating. Now this is a fantastic zoo and offers so much to see and do for any age group. Zoo Tampa is divided into six different areas that include Florida, Manatee Circle, Africa, Primates, Wallaroo, and Asia. The exhibits are great, the guest interaction is great, and overall, this Tampa Bay attraction really is a wonderful place to spend an afternoon. TPR tip. Unlike Busch Gardens Tampa, Zoo Tampa isn't very large, which makes getting around the park a breeze. Also, Zoo Tampa features a few rides for your enjoyment. Tasmanian Tiger Family Coaster is a fun, small-scale coaster, and Roaring Springs is a water ride that features a 50-foot drop into the splash pool. But if you're like me, and you need some adrenaline in your life, then you'll love the second best attraction in the Tampa Bay area, and that is Bush Gardens Tampa, featuring a 4.5 rating on Google. You will find 335 acres of animal thrills, roller coaster thrills, and pure beauty. And when you pair all those things together, it will create an experience that you'll never forget. Busch Gardens Tampa is one of the best theme parks in the entire world. And if I'm being honest, it's my favorite park in Florida. Yes, even over Disney and Universal. And that is simply due to the fact that you can see a ton of animals and take a ride on the Serengeti Express train ride that brings you up close and personal with animals free roam in the safari. On top of that, you'll find dozens of rides and attractions, great shows, amazing special events, and the best roller coaster collection you'll find at a park here in Florida. Shikra Park's vertical dive coaster offers the best views and is so much fun. If you love getting twisted upside down, then Kumba and Montu are perfect for you since they both feature seven different inversions. Cheetah Hunt and Cobra's Curse are some of the best family coasters out there, and Busch Gardens Tampa's newest family coaster, Phoenix Rising, is also a must ride. And then you have Iron Gwazi, the tallest and fastest coaster in all of Florida. Not to mention, but it's also the best. Iron Gwazi will be one of the best roller coasters that you'll ever experience. I can guarantee you that, and I also cannot recommend riding it enough. TPR tip. Busch Gardens Tampa is a very busy park so I recommend visiting during the week if you're able to. This way, you can enjoy the park with less crowds. Now, if you love water parks, then I highly recommend checking out Adventure Island, which is Busch Gardens Water Park that is located directly across the street from this awesome theme park. And here you're gonna find dozens of great slides, lazy rivers, a great wave pool, and a fantastic kids area. Seriously, this water park is by far the most underrated water park in all of Florida. The Tampa Bay area offers some of the best beaches in the country, but how do you know which one to visit? Now I know what you're thinking, you're probably thinking about Clearwater Beach, and it is by far the most popular beach, and it really is beautiful. However, while it is great, if you're looking for clear water with less crowds, then be prepared to fall in love with number one, Fort DeSoto State Park. 
featuring a 4.8 rating. While you will find camping, fishing, and hiking here at this beautiful state park, none of that compares to the beaches. Though, exploring Fort DeSoto is something that I highly recommend. But back to the crystal clear water that you're going to find here at Fort DeSoto. It really is breathtaking. And to be able to take this view in without all the traffic and the noise simply is priceless. TPR tip. Traffic is never an issue getting to and from Fort DeSoto. After all, remember this. You deserve a stress-free day at the beach. Now speaking of stress-free, if you're planning a trip to the Florida theme parks, then it's a good idea to know the best times to visit for the best experience possible. And in this video right here, I share with you when the best times throughout the year are to visit. So which Tampa Bay attraction is your favorite? Be sure to let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and of course, keep riding coasters.